I want a refund of all the millions that they've squandered, actually, because they've never stopped the boats, have they, Patrick? I mean, it's a disgrace. I mean, this is British taxpayers' hard-earned cash, and it's been squandered on a, a fence to protect a French football stadium. You just couldn't make it up, could you? No, and this isn't a fence, by the way, that's, you know, lining one of the beaches to stop them getting on. This isn't a fence that's really serving any practical purpose, not stopping them getting the back of lorries, nothing. This is, it appears, just purely to protect an amateur French football club. I mean, it probably actually having the opposite effect of maybe just driving them onwards to the beaches. I mean, can you believe we're even having this conversation, Patrick? I mean, I want to see ministers to be questioning this immediately and asking for a refund. I'll, I'll write to the ministers myself and the prime minister because it's time to stop funding the French. It's time to stop spending taxpayers' money on hotels for illegal migrants. And we've got to put the money back into British people now. Um, I've, I'm, like many people, I've had enough of this. We've got to stop wasting money. It's not working. The French are not living up to their side of the bargain. So let's get these millions back. Do you think the British taxpayer is owed a full receipt of exactly where our millions of pounds to the French is going? I definitely think so. But but let's um, not forget, actually, Patrick, that France um, and the EU, that's the way they operate, isn't it? Look yeah. how they're closely aligned Macron is with the EU, how um, this is why we came out for Brexit in the first place, because the EU didn't sign off their accounts, there's no transparency. And let's not forget the secret meetings that, that Starmer's had with Macron, which is setting the stage for rejoining the EU, Patrick. So I think we, we need the receipts exactly, as you said, and we need our money back. Can I, can I put this Home Office statement to you and just see what you make of it, all right? So the Home yeah. Office responded to us, and this was just as we went on air tonight, so I'm reading this for the first time along with you. Uh, last year, our joint work with France saw over 26,000 of dangerous, illegal and unnecessary crossings attempts prevented. Since our landmark agreement with France, embedded observers have been deployed regularly on both sides of the channel. And in March, we agreed to more than double the number of personnel deployed in northern France. This partnership is just one part of the government's wider work to tackle illegal migration. What do you make of that, Dame Andrea? I mean, if it's only 26,000 and, and look at how many is coming across, Patrick, how many, how much does that work out per illegal migrant coming across mm. for, compared to, you know, using the money that um, we've given to France? We've got to stop funding the French. I mean, I said this in a, in a statement prior to the budget that I want to see us uh, stop funding the money to France. They're not living up to their side of the bargain and it's our money. We want it back.